Oh, this is your final answer? Yeah, uh-huh. Mm-hmm. There's so many things in here. So Me and these fingers are about to go work. Oh, Let's <laughs> Hello and welcome to The Gay Car, the show where queer women test their knowledge and their physical prowess to see if they can hold on to their gay card. I'm Lena Green and let's meet our next contestant, Joelle. Are you ready to play? I'm so excited. (laughs) I'm so excited. (laughs) I need your gay card. You have to take it now. You have to take it now. Right? What? Is now this you lose? No, I take it. What? Now. You get this back after you answer ten questions correctly, and you complete our physical challenge at the end. Okay. All right. Cool. Me and that car will not be separated for long. Do not be afraid because you get some les lines. The first one is where I take away two incorrect answers. The second one is where you get to ask a robot. Yes, your phone. You can ask her a precise question. Okay. And the third one is charades. You get to use me for this. I think we have a good psychic link, so we're going to be really, good. I hope so, I'm so bad at charades. But let's try it. Are you ready to play? I am ready. Oh, she's ready. Let's play the gay card. Okay, the first question. This recently out artist released one of the best bisexual anthems of the year called Make Me Feel. Mm. Is it A, Chanel Monet? It to is. Cry. No, let me finish. <laughs> you all out. We no, know, I gotta go queen. Out. Okay, okay, it's fine. Go ahead. B, Lizzo, C, Rita Ora, or D, Megan Trainer. It's definitely A. Is it A? It's positive no. A. Oh, nay. You're correct. <laughs> okay, second question. On the show Black Lightning, the ship known as Thunder Grace is made up of these two characters. A, Cara Fowdy and Helga Jace. Amazing ship. B, Jennifer Pierce and Grace Choi. C, Lynn Pierce and Grace Choi. Or D, Anissa Pierce and Grace Choi. That would be D, Anissa and Grace. D, your final answer? Yes. You're so confident, I like this. (laughs) I like when everyone's, but you're correct. What's the antiquated term for two women living together who are rumored to be in a romantic relationship with one another? A, a Connecticut couple. B, a Boston marriage. C, Rhode Island roommates. (laughs) Or D, California cuties. I wish it was California cuties, and I'm going to petition the court to change it to California cuties because it's adorable. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure it's Boston marriage. Go with your instinct. I I, I will then. Yes, B, Boston marriage. You're correct. Okay, next question. (laughs) Megan Rapinoe and Sue Bird are both out professional athletes in a romantic relationship. What sports do they play? Dun, dun, dun. Oh, no. Okay. A, golf and softball. B, rugby and tennis. C, soccer and basketball. Or D, badminton and football. (laughs) Could Sue Bird be Larry Bird's daughter? Because if she is, then I would, I'll go... C and soccer players, you know, go the best lesbians. C. I'm just gonna go C. I'm just gonna <laughs> put it all on the line. Your final answer. Yeah. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. You are correct. Yay! <laughs> Arthur, the first cities in cables to rage. The self-professed black lesbian feminist mother, poet, warrior, fought injustices against marginalized people through the mid 20th century through her revered literary works. Is it A, Audrey Lord? B, Francis Bill? C, Beverly Guy Sheftall? Or D, Alice Walker? I'm going to ask Siri because I feel like I know this, but if I get it wrong, the internet will never leave me alone. So okay. it's good to just, we should just ask Siri. Who wrote Cables to Rage? Here's what I found on the web thing. Cables <laughs> to Rage. I knew it in my heart. I knew it. Okay. So I'm going to go A. Final answer. Okay, your board. final mm-hmm. answer. Yes. You are correct. <laughs> yes. What is the nickname given to classic Hollywood actresses who allegedly love other women? I.e. Greta Garbo, Joan Crawford, Barbara Steinwick, and Marlene Dietrich. A, Quilting Club. B, The Sewing Circle. C, The Thespian Lesbians. <laughs> or D, The Hollywood Harem. Ooh. Hollywood harem, although Dietrich did have a harem of you people still have she slept with. Two more Les lines. Oh my gosh. Okay. Well, we're just gonna have to go 50-50. 
Did on this and just see what happens. Okay, I will eliminate A and D. That is helpful. I'm gonna go B. Okay, final answer? Yes. You're correct. Oh, thank God. It was very close to quilting club. <laughs> okay, these do get harder. <laughs> wow. This civil rights activist and poet known for writing violets and other tales, among other works, was a noted bisexual who had affairs with various women during her time married to men. Is it A, Angela Davis, B, Alice Dunbar Nelson, C, Ida B. Wills, or D, Mae Jemison? Okay, well, D is an astronaut, and C, I'm pretty sure was too close to God to be thinking about ladies. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, I'm gonna go B. I'm gonna go B and just like this. Was this your final answer? Yeah, uh-huh. Mm. <laughs> are you sure? Yep. You are correct. Oh my god, okay. <laughs> I just wanna leave here with my gay card. <laughs> and your dignity. Right? Okay. Honestly. <laughs> what of these comic book characters are a canon bisexuals? <gasps> a, Harley Quinn. B, Poison Ivy. C, Wonder Woman. Or D, All of the Above. It's D, All of the Above! <laughs> Oh, all of my crushes in one spot. Beautiful. Next question, which of these films did Julianne Moore not kiss a woman in? <gasps> okay. A, Free Held, B, Chloe, C, The Hours, or D, Evolution? Julianne Moore do be kissing a lot of women. <laughs> I forgot. You forget. I'm pretty sure it's not B. A just sounds like a lesbian movie. So I'm gonna go D. <laughs> That's how I'm making this decision. Final answer? Yeah. You are correct. Oh my God, that's a miracle. I love that you're just going oh with your God. instincts and I don't have, because you told me to tell you yeah, have The psychic energy, I'm it feeling it. it. <laughs> it's right here. What is the name of Allison Moon and Katie Diamond's Queer Woman Sex Instructional Book released in 2015? A, Girl Sex 101. B, Pussy Passions. <laughs> C, Carol. Or D, The Lesbian Sex Haku book. Ooh. One, nobody told me that there was a queer women's sexual instruction book, and I feel a little robbed. Like, you know, <laughs> uh, I didn't know we had our own Karma Sutra. It's really exciting. Um, because I have one more lifeline left, and these are such great answers, I hate you. I'm gonna ask you. <laughs> He's my final lifeline. I'm gonna ask you to act it out for me. Like, just you. <laughs> Getting it in. <laughs> God, I suck at this. No, you I right. feel I feel like we're we're good. We're good. Okay. Um, so I narrowed it down to either Girl Sex 101 oh or the Lesbian Sex Haiku book because, you know, uh -huh. female and lesbian okay. and then sex mm -hmm. for getting it in. Um So you can either be studying or reading a book in this moment, nah, which does not differentiate between 101 or high school oh book. Like these are academic <laughs> pursuits. But I'm gonna go, I'm, I feel like it, but like it would be very lesbian to write it in a haiku format, but I'm just gonna say Girl Sex 101 is very like uh, SEO search friendly. And I feel like 2015, that's the era we were really living in. It'd be like, make sure we can search and find your book on the internet. So I'm gonna go with A. Love the way you're You are correct. Yes. <laughs> well, Joelle, you made it through the 10 questions, but now you have to compete in our physical challenge to get that card back. <laughs> Listen, I'm coming for that card. <laughs> Look at you. Me and these fingers are about to go work. Oh, <laughs> All right, Joel, you made it to the physical challenge. Yes! Killed it, by the way. Thank you. Crushed it. <laughs> okay, this is Imagine Me and Punch. Now, you remember in the movie Imagine Me and You, where Rach dropped her ring in the punch and Luce fished it out. Yes. You're gonna do that. Super romantic. <laughs> I'm so excited. But it's not gonna be one ring, it's gonna be five rings. Oh. And you're gonna put them on this mannequin hand. Okay, she's bougie, but I'm gonna get her every ring she wants. We better shower. We can do it. Shower. What? You got 60 seconds. Can you do it? I'm gonna do it. Let's put 60 seconds on the clock. Ready? Yes, set, go. Go! Oh my god! There's so many things in here. Oh god! You're like, ah, ah, what? Oh, wow. You're doing there. Okay. Marbles, marbles make it very confusing. 
Is it cold? It is a little bit cold and a little sticky, but it's not unpleasant. You got it. Come on. Get out of here. Okay. Yeah, three. Ah. Got two more. I have exquisite taste in jewelry. Okay. <laughs> I love how you're trying to make it pretty on there. Just don't worry about that. Two more. Oh, you got it. No! <laughs> it's right there. Okay. Patience. Haha. <laughs> Virtues. Okay. One more. One more. <laughs> Ten seconds. Where are you? Five. Four. Three. Two. One. <laughs> You didn't find the fifth ring, but you killed it during the trivia, so guess what? I'm gonna go ahead and give you your gay card back. Yes! <laughs> I'm gonna cherish it forever. Okay. I love it. Her. Okay. I don't know what she is yet. She's gorgeous. She's well, last thing, the card. And we're gonna make you our bisexual champion of the week. This means so much to me. <laughs> All right. I would thank my mom okay. for accepting we'll my that bisexuality. <laughs> thank you so much for hanging out with us. I'm Lena Green. Till next week when we play the gay card. <laughs> you can do your speech now. Um, thank you, Pop, for just believing in me. Um, I'm a bisexual icon. You're beautiful. This is wonderful. I'm gonna cherish this forever. <laughs>